For decades, paper, board, and tissue producers have been fighting to get their business as profitable as possible. Costs must be under control. Raw materials, energy, labor. But most importantly, cost of quality must be managed accordingly. A high level of productivity is a prerequisite for optimizing the cost of quality. This refers to both the uptime of the equipment as well as the material efficiency from beginning of the process to finished product. Fluctuations in the process, paper breaks, and other disturbances need to be avoided. While the production rate is important, the quality of the end product is critical. Both the level as well as the repeatability of quality targets are important. Papermaking process is a complex organism where all process parts have an impact on the whole operation. In this environment, stable consistency and flow rate are critical. Let's start from the beginning. First, the choice of fiber properties matters. Blending different fibers will have an impact on the final product. For instance, in packaging, a high portion of long fibers will create a stronger sheet, while higher portion of short fibers will give better softness. In tissue, optimizing the blend of long and short fibers is required to achieve desired strength and smoothness. If you don't know your fiber mix, you cannot control the final output. There are always some unwanted objects in the pulp, such as bark, knots, sand, plastic, and stickies. These particles lower the quality of the product and can cause web breaks. That's why furnish must be screened and cleaned before making paper out of it. For optimum efficiency of the screening, the right stock consistency is critical. If it is too high, there is a risk of blocking the screen. And if this is too low, it may create a bottleneck in production. Throughout the overall process, functional and process additives are needed. Fixing aids are added at the beginning of the process, used to cut high anionic charges from the raw material and to neutralize anionic trash. This will boost retention and improve efficiency of the functional chemicals. Retention additives are process additives used to retain small particles and paper chemicals in the sheet, rather than draining through the wire. Depending on paper grade, it is important to have the correct level of retention. Too much retention causes high flocculation and fibers sticking to forming fabrics. Not enough retention lets small particles and chemicals drain through the sheet and accumulate in the white water system. This causes several issues, such as deposits, poor runnability, increased usage of functional chemicals, and sheet two-sidedness. Ideal retention allows water to drain through the sheet while retaining the paper machine chemicals and producing a consistent product. This reduces the steam required to dry the sheet in the dryer section and allows the machine to run faster as well. Talking about drainage, entrained air in the stock reduces dewatering capacity on wire section. The papermaking process is equipped with an air removal system. To ensure optimum deaeration, deaerator chemicals are used. Proper deaeration helps to prevent deposits in the system. If overdosed, they can be harmful to the process. If deaeration is poor, this can lead to problems such as pinholes, deposits, and pump cavitation. So far, we have covered most of the wet end operations. To get specific properties of the final product, additional chemistries are used, such as wet and dry strength agents, sizing agents, and dyes. To optimize their dosage, we should ensure that the system charge is under control for chemical savings and good machine runnability. A good management of the wet end will not only drive direct savings, but will impact the overall operations to support the delivery of an optimum end product at best possible costs. Definitely worth looking at this area.